Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. So guys, in this video we're going to do another audio test. So this video is a, well I suppose a follow on from uh, the last audio test I did. I'll put a link somewhere uh, in the comments or wherever. Anyway guys, so this is, uh, as I said, a follow on from uh, the last audio test I did. So uh, in that one guys, what we were doing, we were testing a lav uh, microphone uh, compared to a sort of miniature shotgun microphone which I've actually got sat in front of me. So again guys, it's pretty much the same audio test. Uh, as I said, I'm in me, uh, on that last one I was in my conservatory, which I'm back in it again. And it's quite echoey, so uh, what I found with the uh, lavalier setup, uh, it was quite echoey, so I'm going to sort of try and improve the audio if I can. So uh, again, uh, the audio at the minute is coming from the lavalier, uh, which is going into my Rode uh, wireless filmmaker kit. So that's the audio at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is pretty much do exactly the same as I did last time. But what I want to do this time is going to connect this, which is not connected at the moment. I'm going to connect this into the uh, Rode Filmmaker kit and uh, see how that works. Because this microphone is just a uh, self-powered or it takes its power from the camera. So I'm going to plug that into the Rode uh, Filmmaker kit and uh, see how uh, that goes for us. So again, we're going to have it on a, a boom arm, which I will show you the setup in a moment, guys. And then when we've done that, we're going to do away with the boom arm and actually mount it sort of uh, just in front of me so the microphone's uh, not actually in view. So guys, just uh, have a sort of a quick listen to the audio. So uh, as I said guys, I'm sitting in my conservatory. Uh, so I'm just trying to sort of do a little audio test. So uh, what should we do? Test, test, one, two, three, audio, audio, test, one, two, three. I suppose we ought to do, Mary had a little lamb, she also had a bear. I've often seen a lamb, but never seen her bear. So guys, a minute, that's the audio from the Rode Filmmaker kit uh, and its lavalier microphone. So I'm going to uh, just keep quiet for a minute and uh, see if he's picking up too much background noise. It probably sort of is background noise because there's a, an airplane flying over at the moment and there is a clock ticking. But anyway, I'm going to uh, shut up for a minute and just do a bit of a... Uh, sort of a quiet uh, test and see what uh, background noise we got. So guys, that was uh, just a background noise. What we do now guys is swap over to the uh, little Boya BY MM1 mini shotgun microphone plugged into the, uh, gonna be plugged into this, uh, that's the, the transmitter for the filmmaker kit there guys, that's gonna be plugged in there and uh, we're going to see what audio we get from that, so uh, just bear with me guys. So guys, we're now on the Little Boyer BY-MM1 mini shotgun microphone and that is plugged into the uh, Rode Filmmaker kit. So we're just looking at the um, audio signal off of the uh, camera, because I've got to look at my uh, tablet. It's, it looks a similar sort of level as uh, the lavalier mic, but uh, hopefully it uh, might have cut out some of that uh, echo so uh, again we do audio test audio test one two three one two three mary had a little lamb uh, she also had a bear i've often seen her lamb but well you've guessed it i've never seen her bear so that's the uh, road filmmaker kit with the boya by mm1 mini shotgun microphone so again i'm going to uh, stop talking for a moment and we'll see if uh, we got a little bit of background noise coming through now guys So guys, there you go, that was a little bit of a quiet spell there to see what sort of background noise we're coming through. Now, uh, just for the record, I suppose the microphone's probably about uh, a foot. I don't do much, that's about a foot away from me, guys. So, uh, sort of mounted on this little boom arm here that you probably can't see if I do that. Will that sort of focus more on the microphone instead of my uh, ugly mug? Probably not, but anyway, guys, that's the uh, Boya BY MM1 Mini Shotgun Microphone plugged into the Rode Filmmaker kit. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, take it off of the boom arm and I'm going to mount it on a little um, tabletop, tripod, oh, tabletop tripod in front of me so we don't actually uh, 
get to see uh, the setup guys so uh, just bear with me while I do that one so guys just swapped over the setup again so now we've got the microphone which is just uh, was just out of shot there so that's the microphone probably a bit far away but uh, that's uh, just there so the microphone's just out of shot so uh, again I shouldn't think the audio would alter that much but uh, we haven't got the boom arm sort of in the shot uh, so uh, again we'll just do a little quick audio test on this one so testing testing or one two three one two three Mary had a little lamb she also had a bear well I've often seen her lamb but I've never seen the bear anyway guys that's the uh, audio test there so uh, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to notice a bit of a difference uh, with it plugged into the uh, Rode Filmmaker kit because last time I had to really boost up uh, the gain to get the audio to be really nice sounding anyway guys so uh, just going to swap back to uh, the original setting just so we can get one last comparison and then uh, we'll uh, call the end to this video so guys one last comparison so we are now back on the Rode Filmmaker kit with the Rode uh, lavalier mic just there so uh, I just noticed my, uh, my top almost matches the uh, all behind us i might have blended in a bit <laughs> anyway guys that's the uh, little lav mic there so we're on the lav mics i got a feeling it's going to be quite echoey so uh yeah, probably uh sort of get that echo because it is uh it's quite a, a large space and uh, it's not it's not much sort of anything here to absorb any of the echoes uh, not that I'm any audio expert at all. But anyway guys, so just one last comparison I'm just gonna put the uh, little shotgun microphone back on and uh, see how that goes So guys, I thought I'd give you a quick view of the actual setup. It's fairly much the same as before actually But uh, what I've had to do is uh, stand the uh, transmitter on the uh, boxes there because the the actual cable wasn't long enough, but that's the really the setup on the boom arm there guys which uh, is a uh, fix at the back of the chair I have to get myself a proper mic boom arm I think guys but that's the setup and uh, the camera's up there in front uh, with the uh, receiver on there and uh, there you go that's uh, one of the cats having a nap but anyway guys that's uh, that's the setup and uh, down there I would have that's my little uh, tabletop sort of tripod affair there guys but uh, other than that that's the setup guys so guys here we are we're back on the Boyer BY MM1 mini shotgun microphone which is plugged into the Rode Filmmaker kit uh, I'm hoping that uh, it's going to cut out some of that echo that we have in this uh, conservatory as I said this is about the uh, most ideal place that uh, I can make my videos uh, I know that sometimes over on this side it's a little bit dark but I am going to address that anyway guys so this is just really just the last uh, test and roundup of uh, this video so uh, Hopefully it's going to be a little bit of an improvement uh, admit It takes a bit longer to set up and I'll probably have to buy myself a, a better uh, microphone boom pole, uh, but other than that guys uh, That's it. So I uh, hope you found this uh, video interesting I'm certainly uh, found it interesting and I'm hopefully going to uh, be able to tell which is better uh, echo wise or not and I don't really know actually how well this microphone is going to sound it might actually have some uh, Quite nasty buzzing, who knows? Never plugged a little boy a shotgun microphone into the filmmaker kit and I haven't, I haven't done any pre testing, so this is a <laughs> a test. <laughs> so I'm not going to know what it sounds like. Anyway, guys, I'm waffling on here. So, uh, anyway, guys, hope you found this video interesting and uh, we will catch you on the next one. So, until then, bye bye for now.